Okay, so first things first, we want to start getting our heroes down towards the uh, the battlefront, let's say. Uh, Manfred's kind of in the way here, so let's uh, let's move him out of the way. And then Tazar should be able to go a decent way down here. Uh, oh, okay, he could actually attack these genies, but we're, we're not going to do that. Certainly not with no army anyway, that seems like a, a really silly idea. So let's just put Manfred here so he's next to it all. And Ivacious with the main army can start moving up as well. Okay, great. Um, Dima's just doing a little bit of exploration for us, so let's see what we can see. Mm, not a huge amount, honestly. Lots of coattles, that'll be a difficult fight at some point. Uh, looks like we can actually just slip past these coattles though, so we'll find out what's on the other side of those. Um, and most of my other heroes, I suppose, really want to just be collecting up units and setting up a fairly elaborate chain for next time, I suppose. So... Okay, so first things first, we really just want to be getting our heroes down to the main front, so let's start moving Manfred down. He can just pop himself here so that he's ready for next turn. And... Tazar should be able to get a decent way down here since it's all road. Um, he could actually hit these genies this turn. But I think we'll wait. We want to take the full army from uh, Eovatius next turn. And after that, Eovatius is going to... Yeah, he's going to drop the army off and then pop himself back through the town gate. Um, I would say we'll delete the one null for extra movement. In fact, we're, we're going to do it. It's only going to give him 100 extra movement or so, but it's worth doing. And Dima is just going to have a little bit of an explore down here. See what we can see. Okay. Lots of tricky fights. The dendroids over here would actually be quite easy, but I don't want to detour that far, really. And we've got lots of crimson coattles here, which... Looks like I might be able to just slip past, so we'll, we'll try that. If we can slip past, then it'll be interesting to see what's there, at least. Um, Teva is going to want to firstly visit this mystical garden. Um, and I think we actually want Teva staying there for the start of next week, so that she can grab these lizard warriors and then start coming back towards town. Um, Cassiopeia probably just wants to come and visit this knowledge. Yeah, she hasn't visited either of these and she's going to have time to do stuff, so I might as well visit that. And Winona is going to be part of our chains, so where do we need to put Win uh, Winona? I guess we actually want to be putting her on this wyvern nest the next time and she'll be able to get up to about here-ish. So, I'm going to be able to bring Manfred back. He's going to be able to pop himself somewhere over here. Which should be decent enough to start chaining, so... I guess Marie's, or Merist even, wants to just go over here somewhere. She's going to want to be in the right spot so that she can take all of the lizard men. I guess the question is how far can Teva move without it being rowed? I mean, that's rowed, so she can move reasonably far without it being. I can't actually tell. So. She's probably going to get somewhere around here, I think. I think if we pop Merist here-ish. In fact, let's send Merist back into town, upgrade this fly for her, and then we'll move her back out again. I think this should be about right. Should be about right, I think. So let's see, what else can we build? We still need to build our Hydra Pond, um, which is actually pretty important. But other than that, I don't think I really want to spend any gold right now. Unless I've got a hero I could actually use. Uh, Melanda's a possibility, I suppose. Yeah, I think next turn what we're going to do is we're going to send Marist back into town. Uh, we're going to buy Melanda. And then have one of them garrisoned so that we can swap them out and use, uh, use the different movement points from them. I think that makes a lot of sense. So, let's end the turn there. I think we're good. Okay, 
So if we send Marist back into town, we then buy Melanda. I did see that there's Kraghack there, obviously, but I'm, I'm not buying Kraghack. Not right now, at least. And let's destroy... Let's destroy the Evil Eyes so that I actually have space for these units. Okay, Marist has taught Melanda some spells, which is great news. And Melanda's going to be needed somewhere around here, I think. Yeah, that gives me an extra hero, so I think that makes sense. So let's move up with the Avacious. We can take his army. And yeah, we'll leave him with one fly. We'll swap the artifacts, of course. Uh, apart from the helm, because Tazar has yeah helm. Uh, Tazar has the helm of chaos, so we want uh, Evacius to have as much mana as possible when he actually goes home again, which is now. Yep. Okay, this is good. This is good. He can't reuse the map object. Okay, fine. Next turn it is then. And Tazar doesn't have his army yet, so let's grab that from Manfred. We'll keep the helm. And we probably want to consolidate these, and we want to split out some flies instead, I think. Yeah, I think this is how we want it. I think this is about right. So let's hit this throng of genies with Tazar. Should be quite easy. I have speed advantage, so I should be able to just mass slow them. And then just wait on everything. And I'll hit the master genies first, I think. Okay, 14 to 17, 14 to 17. Mm, I don't think I'm going to lose a wife in here. Well, I definitely won't if, if I get good luck. And I think I just want to send flies to the back here to drag these units back again. I think that makes sense anyway. Um, and... Let's stone skin. And then we want to just wait on these. They're probably going to get smacked anyway, so we might as well move ourselves back out of range so that they definitely do go for the uh, the flies. Okay, and we get a full powered shot on these. And with good luck, that's really, really helpful. Okay, so I can just defend on these, wait on these, wait on the cows again. And wait on the lizard men, they'll all come forward, so I get a full powered shot again. That's great. 3 to 8 is fine. Do I want to bless my wyverns? I think I do. Okay, so let's go and hit this stack here. And I haven't taken any damage yet, so I can actually just go for this up at the top. Yeah, I didn't take huge amounts of damage there, that's fine. And let's cure this anyway. Uh, and we'll we'll wait again because my cows can kill this one. And it's a full powered shot on these. Ah, and more morale anyway. Okay, so four flies, that's uh, kind of the acceptable and expected loss there. Pathfinding's tempting on Tazar. Um, I would really, really like to get... No, I'm going I'm to take armour. I would really like to get some other things on Tazar if I can. Um, ideally, water magic would be the biggest thing that I want to get. But I don't really know how viable that actually is. Um... 
So, Manfred's done his job there. Which means he can start moving his way back up. So he can be part of our next chain. I don't think he's going to want to be too far up though. I think maybe... Maybe here, at most. Dima can have a little explore for us. We can definitely slip past these, which is great. Um, oh! I didn't actually even see these ghost dragons against the snow terrain. I thought, oh, this is just free. Uh, <laughs> but it's definitely not. There's ghost dragons there. And, oh, we can actually get past here as well. Fine. That's that's good news. Uh, Tiva's in the right spot already. Cassiopeia is just going back to this mystical garden. Uh, Winona is also in the right spot already. And pretty much so is Milanda. Okay, she's got a fair bit of movement. Yeah, that should be more than enough. Okay, so Tazar is the only one that needs to move, it looks like. And I'm not going to take this picket because I want to take this bank instead. Okay. I think that was all tier 3 spells. Armor of Wonder, which is actually a pretty big upgrade for us. We had no chest piece at all. It was a good item. Uh, 20 to 49 and several Naga Queens. This, this could be a maxi, I think. I think this could be a maxi. So, we want to be popping our archers there. We want our cows in the first slot on line two. Yeah, I think this is fine. This could be painful though. Only 20, that's, that's actually nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be. Um, speed advantage makes a big difference here though. So let's take the retail on our flies. And then... Likewise, we'll go here. And our other fly can go in the bottom corner here. We've already taken retail, so we can hit these. Oh, we actually got morale. That's great. And cows, I guess, can go and finish off this top stack. Archer's got morale, which is absolutely perfect. Uh, okay, they've got this has got one health left, so we can actually just take it with this fly, surprisingly. Uh, and we'll bless our wyverns. Uh, reason being, it means we can one-shot these stacks, so we'll just wait. Uh, cows can also wait, and we just hope they don't get morale. Perfect. So, I should be able to just one-shot these other two stacks. Oh, I should have been able to do it anyway, even without morale, but that's absolutely spot-on. Uh, air magic. There's not much point in air magic, it's really only going to be for... No, we'll take we'll take leadership. We'll take leadership. At least leadership is always useful. And the picket. Yeah, we could still take the picket, I think. Uh I think these losses are actually fine, but let's see if we can do any better, I guess. Let's wait. And I guess we just hope they don't get morale. Yeah, no morale, that's good. Excuse me, I think I muted in time, but uh, if I didn't, apologies for the sneeze. And we don't really need to do much now. And I think the Wyvern should be able to take a hit from stack of wolf raiders, so... Yep, perfect. Okay, so we get six Cyclops. It's a nice addition to our army, and we have leadership, so we have no morale problems there. And likewise, lots of Psychic Elementals should be a relatively trivial fight for Tazar. Apparently it's harder than I thought it was going to be. We 
just wait on everything again. And we can just hit whatever because it uh, doesn't really make a difference at this point. Can we take nine? Yes, we can. Great. And let's just defend and wait. And we'll just wait again. We... I don't think I actually want to use any more mana, so I'm just going to save that. And we'll wait on all three of these stacks as well. Okay, great. They got split. That's perfect. So, let's hit the bigger stack. Hit the bigger stack. And we can just hit these with our wyverns. Let's just defend and wait and hit these with our wyverns. And then we can just wait, wait, wait. I kind of forget how uh, strong Cyclops actually are. They're, they're pretty ridiculous. Let's move our cows slightly and we'll just be able to one-shot these with our wyverns. Great. So, nice and easy. Uh, interference is tempting, but no, I'm going to take Expert Wisdom instead. Means that our next skill choice might end up being something terrible, though, because we have five expert skills now, which is potentially not amazing, but we'll see. We'll see. It could be fine. And most of our other heroes are really just waiting around at this point. Um, I do have plenty of gold, though, so I could build this Hydra Pond, and I'm going to just because uh, it at least starts stacking up some creatures for us, and since I don't have another town yet, um, I'm really going to struggle for army later on. Or at least it feels like I'm really going to struggle for army later on. Uh, Horde of Master Genies also should be a fairly easy fight for me. Um, Throng of Men of the Sea will be too. And then we've got another Naga Bank here, so that's that's great. I think we're just good to end the turn already, even though we've got lots of heroes that can still move. Okay, there's an underground passage there. It's nice to know. And let's go back to Silt with Evacious. Kind of got everything that we want from the town, so I guess Eavacious can just set himself up as part of the chain for next time. Ah, I screwed up. I needed to go to the magic well. Never mind. Uh, okay, let's take out a throng of men of the sea. There's also a pack of uh, Wyvern Monarchs there, which I could just go and kill. Yeah, I think we should just go and kill it. Yeah, perfect, okay. And a mansion could actually be pretty brutal, so we'll leave that until Zark can come back down. I really do want to travel across this road a bit. We've also got a Tree of Knowledge here, which would be really, really nice to pick up. And that's the end of the road for Dima here. That's a bit of a shame. He was doing some good exploring for us, but never mind. At least we know what's there now. Okay, Tiva's in the right spot. So is Cassie, so is Winona. And I believe so is Melanda. Yeah, she should be. She should be. Manfred, let's move you slightly further up. I don't trust Eavacious to move uh, far enough next turn, but let's end it there. We'll get through to a new week, and we'll be able to pick up a load more troops, which is great. So, first things first, we want to pick up these on Winona. I want to get these back to Melanda. And Melanda... Wants to go to somewhere around here. The Evacious wants to grab this magic well, and then he can move a little bit further down the road. But not much further, so looks like it was a good shout moving Manfred. Um, Dima just wants to start coming back out of this area, so that's fine. Tiva wants to pick up the garden. Go and pick up everything at the lizard hut there, lizard den even. We'll give Tiva the faster fly as well. 
And then Milanda. Hmm, I do want to take out these wolf riders. I think maybe Tiva. You can go and take those out for us on the next turn. Okay, let's upgrade these troops. If anybody knows, by the way, if there's a shortcut to mass upgrade all the troops in your army, um, I don't know if there is or not. I've never seen it, but if there is, then I'd uh, I'd love to know about it. Oh, we got Krakak again. That's a bit strange. Not exactly what I would have expected, at least. Okay, so we've picked up a fair few of our troops, but we can't pick up everything. How much do we need to pick up all of our Gorgons? 600 each, so that's going to be 4,200 for all of them. And let's trade in some of these gems. I think we can trade in a big chunk of them, actually. And let's also trade in one ore. That should allow us to buy all of our cows. It does. Alright, that's good. That's good. And then Milanda wants to swap armies. And I think this is right. I think this is everything that I'm bringing through. So we've now got Merist. Okay, Merist barely has enough movements to actually even bring these to Evacious, but we do have Winona there. No, who's run out of movement. Okay, so we, we basically we can't take out this Colosseum on the way back, which is a shame. I'd have really liked to have done that. But I think it's far more important that we actually just get started with moving our troops. Okay, so Eovatius can come down here, and Manfred can then come and grab the army. That's perfect. Uh, how far can Tazar move back down? Far enough. Perfect. In which case, Manfred might as well go and do this. And we'll split these out anyway, even though we shouldn't need to. Tazar can take out this throng of men of the sea. No, I definitely shouldn't lose uh, that many. I think now they're slowed, I should be able to just shoot them down without really worrying too much about anything else. Well, let's wait, wait, wait. Now we get a full powered shot. Another full powered shot. And we can just defend up on these. And then the Wyverns can take out the rest of them. Great, okay. So, a bit of a nice free XP there. Uh, Manfred, we just want going back to these resource buildings here. And we've got lots of Afrit Sultans. Um, yeah, I think that could be a tricky one, but we'll have a go. And a throng of Master Genies. Uh, likewise, we that should be relatively okay, I think, actually, with Tazar. What have we got here? Hellstorm Helmet, which is great. It's guarded by ancient behemoths, though. Probably quite a lot of them, because there's a prison and the Ambassador's Sash there, too. I kind of forgot that I had uh, Cassiopeia to pick up stuff, so I'm, gl I'm glad she didn't get gold to pick up, or I would have wasted a load of resources there. Okay, so not a bad day one for this week. Um, we've managed to pick up quite a few more troops, which is always good news. And bring them over to the front, which is obviously important too. Manfred, I guess, is just coming with us. At least it certainly seems that way at this point. how Demon gets out of here. This way, I think. And Teva. Teva now doesn't really have a great deal to do. 
we've kind of visited everything that we can. Um, I'd like to be exploring a bit more with her, but there's not really anywhere that we can explore. So, has Tiva visited all of these? No, is the answer. So, let's send her back down this way, and we can always use her next time. Uh, likewise, Winona, I'd really like to be using her for something, but at present we don't have a huge amount we can even do. So, let's start moving her back down towards our main heroes. And Merist, likewise, we've kind of done everything we can, so... Again, let's start moving her back down towards my main heroes, I suppose. Not sure what she's going to do down there, but maybe something. At the moment, we've just got to pile up on the road, which I don't know how useful that actually is. Um, okay, so Throng of Master Genies. This should be absolutely fine, because I outspeed them. Which means I'm always going to get my cast of... Um, Thingamy. Yep, Thingamy, that's the one. Of, uh, of Mass Slow out on them. Okay, and they're just going to continue to buff each other. This one no longer has slow on it. So, first let's go stone skin. And then let's hit the one that doesn't have slow anymore. Oh, nice morale and luck. That's super useful. Mm, yeah, let's go for this stack just in case. I'm just tempting just to magic arrow a couple of them. I'm probably going to take over with Eovacious on the offensive after this, so I think that should be fine. Mm. Okay, the stack of 22 is going to go next, but... Yeah, I think it's fine if I hit here. How much the damage did they do? Five. Oh yeah, I'm Tazar. Yeah, fine, that makes perfect sense. And then the stack of four gets to go first, but my Wyvern survives without any issues. Feel like none of these have slow on them anymore. Fairly sure I just checked that and I was not in range. Alright, whatever. Ah, anti magic. That explains it then. Alright, the stack of 11's there to hit me as well. That's not ideal. Let's move our cows. Let me get a full powered shot on these, so we might as well do that. And then a good luck shot on that, which is great. Alright, well we did lose three wyverns, um, which we really could have done without, I mean, scouting or... yeah. Sure. Ooh! All tier 4 spells. Hmm. He even gets clone. Okay, this, this could actually be useful. Especially as we have... Um, which one of my heroes has it? I think it must be Merist. Yeah. Merist. So we need to get Merist to level 5 and hope that she gets uh, Scholar again. So Merist hasn't visited either of these, so we might even get that next... Uh, oh no, Merist's this one. I think Merist has visited everything, but we can potentially give Merist some units from our army and uh, and get her to do one of the fights coming up. At least so she gets a little bit of extra XP. Okay, well, I'd rather not pick these up with Tazar, but all of my other heroes are out of moves. And let's visit the Naga Bank next time. 
The Ifrit Sultans we probably do want to try and take out as well, but I'm not sure. We might just continue down the road for now. Really, really tempting to buy Crack Hack. But I'm going to avoid it just because otherwise... I don't know, it just becomes a bit of a cheesy game if I've got both Tazar and Crack Hack uh, as, as main heroes in the same game. So... Let's visit the Naga Bank. I mean, those losses are actually completely acceptable, but I still don't particularly want to take them, so let's not. So, we kill the Naga Queens with the Wyverns. Ah, beautiful. We actually get morale. And good luck, wow. Hope for no morale from them. Nope, no morale. Good. So, cows can kill the bottom stack. Flies can do absolutely nothing. And the Cyclops can finish these off. Fantastic. Okay, it's a tiny Naga Bank, but it, it's still a Naga Bank. Okay, we'll just move back up here. And then I think Dima's going to take himself off to the north here and see what we can find up in this area. Although I could reserve that for another hero. Um, yeah, let's take Manfred up here. Why not? Or... No. Even though I've already taken Manfred up there. Uh, oh yeah, I've just remembered we can't get past here. So nobody's going up there. That's fine then. <laughs> Alright, let's send Winona up front then. Because she has... Uh, I think Expert. No, Advanced Scouting. So let's see what we can see with her. We can see that we've got a pack of Diamond Golems here. Which should be an easy fight for us. Just grabbing some uh, XP and stuff on Tiva. That's great. Yeah, there's not really a huge amount extra Tiva can do. I think she's visited just about everything in our biome that we've cleared out at least. I know she hasn't visited this up here, so let's go up there. And Merist wants to. Merist really just wants to get a level. What have we got here? A pack of Cavaliers, which would be quite easy. Lots of Medusas, which is also quite easy. Horde of Black Knights, really not that easy. And lots of Ancient Behemoths. I mean, that's kind of a fight that I don't particularly want to take. So, I don't know. Let's build our Glyphs of Fear, so at least they're done. And, sorry, bear with me two seconds. Okay, sorry about that. I'm actually recording the rest of this later on the same day. I just had to uh, go and deal with something. Um, so, what were we doing? I'm guessing killing lots of Afrit Sultans, by the looks of it. And uh, I suppose the choice is whether we do this with Eivacious or whether we do it with Tazar. Uh, Eivacious, we probably want to save mana on to take these Dendroids out. So I guess it'll be Tazar, but I'm going to lose a lot of units. Uh, Tome of Fire Magic. Yeah, I think Tome of Fire Magic's the way forward. We've only got 10 mana left, but that gives us enough for... One Pro Fire. And one Mass Slow. Which I think should be... That should be fine, right? I think that should be fine. I kind of feel like this is famous last words though, and I'm about to lose my entire army, but uh, let's have a look. Mm, yeah, that's really not fine. Uh, nine wyverns is really not losses I can afford. Alright, so I'm, I guess maybe just send the flies directly forward. Ah, morale, we are done without that, never mind. Uh, let's wait, wait, wait on these. Okay, they're all waiting as well. That's not great. I guess hitting the top stack is as good as any other. Makes no real difference at this point. And cows are going to be able to hit most things if I move them one step forward. I could just kill this stack, but that will leave me... I'll, I'll do a lot of damage to it, so... 
I'll get fire shielded. Yeah, I think this is the right play. And then we'll profile our cows. And we'll have the cows deal with most of this, I think. I mean, perfect. We couldn't really have asked for anything more than that. Let's hit the big stack here with our archers. Uh, also the big stack here with our cows. And likewise. Ah, morale. Just what we needed. Ah, we're out of mana, aren't we? Okay. So we are going to lose a few cows here. Yeah, so we lost 10 cows, but I think that's far better than losing uh, wyverns. At this point, at least. Uh, 6,000 XP to level, which is pretty much these dendroids, but maybe I'll just take this anyway. Yeah, it's worth 10 gems. Oh, water magic. Ah, oh, That's absolutely beautiful. That's exactly what we wanted, is water magic. Fantastic. Yeah, I really, I really couldn't have asked for more there. Uh, so we've got Water Magic and a Lion's Shield of Courage from that fight. Alright, that was that was well worth us taking it then. Um, I was a little bit unsure if that was worth it when we were actually starting to look at it. Um, it seemed like it could be a pretty brutal fight for, for no real reason, but nope, that was absolutely well worth it. And other than that, Tazar actually wants to take these artifacts back home. Um, reason being that it doesn't make a huge difference to Evacious, because Evacious is just going to come up here now. And we do want to take the throng of dendroids out, but we'll do those later. And lots of monks. Hopefully they'll just flee. And we've also got Merist, who... Actually, Merist could take these lots of diamond golems. I think that's the way forward. And then we can learn all these spells from Tazar if we get uh, a Scholar. Yeah, I think that makes that makes sense. So let's end the turn there. We should just make these flee, right? Yep, perfect. Okay, and then Merist can go make her way up here for us. Lots of diamond golem should be pretty trivial. I'm guessing the AI just ran straight forward with all of my units. Okay, 10 to 12, so not yet is the answer. And we'll just wait, 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 so they get a bit closer. Get a full-powered shot. Another full-powered shot. And we should be able to one-shot them now. Yep, perfect. Hold on, Merist. Ah, advanced wisdom. Fine, whatever. Ugh, I was really hoping that was going to be an XP chest. Um, lots of Medusas should be fine. And up here, and I want my Cyclops to be... No, I do want my Cyclops to be in the middle. Or do I? Yeah, I think this is right. I think this is how we want to do it. Maybe not, actually. Maybe let's have one extra stack of weapons. Yeah, perfect. And Expert Wisdom. That's a shame. we got Horde of Oceanids and a picket guarded by lots of Cavaliers which won't be a difficult fight for Eovacious or Tazar but would be for a lot of my other heroes and a Horde of Mummies guarding a box that's a relatively trivial fight so I think we'll actually do that next turn and Tazar wants to be going back to grab mana ideally so let's do that. So let's also build our Cage of Warlords while we're here. Tazar might as well get the extra plus one. And then he can make his way out. 
Okay, I'm really, really pleased with this. I've got uh, basic water magic on Tazar. That's just so, so huge. And I'm about to get a load of mana, which is also brilliant. Okay, Dima, Manfred, and all of these others are really just moving up to support me at the front. Let's not get in one owner's way. She can see a little bit further than the rest of us. Lots of Hydras. That's not even the break, is it? I think that's just them guarding the uh, the Crown of Dragon Tooth. Which, don't get me wrong, is a great item, but... Lots of Hydras. If that's a high lots, that seems pretty extreme, frankly. Let's go and grab this Sulphur with Winona. She doesn't have a huge amount extra to do. And Cassie can just basically stay there. Tiva's just statting up in our biome, I think. Yep. Great. So I think that's everybody moved. It'd be nice to finally break through here, but... Yeah, there's some brutal fights to get to before we even get there. And we're day five, so we are getting pretty close to being able to pick up more units, which is nice. In which case, I'm actually going to start sending these guys back. Manfred, likewise, you can be a, uh, a chain hero for us. I'll put Manfred on here for now. Okay, that's day five. And then I'll be able to get here by the next week. Great, okay. And likewise, Winona's had a little, little look for us up here. Okay, so we've got a f quite easy fight guarding a tree and a box. That's probably worth taking. Winona can start making her way home again. And Merist can, s can make her way home next turn. Evasius, I guess, just wants to be taking out a few of these fights. Although... Maybe Merist wants to take a couple of these before the next turns. Let's have a look. She needs 1300 XP. So yeah, maybe Merist wants to take a couple of these fights. Let's take out a horde of mummies. Should be relatively trivial. Once again, the AI decided to just run forward and uh, smash everything, but that's fine. Let's wait on everything. And then we've got a full powered shot on the mummies, which actually smacks them pretty hard. Uh, we can just defend on all these. And then wait on them this time. Uh, we'll wait again. And another full powered shot. Oh, and morale. Okay, so we just did it. Uh, expert intelligence or basic pathfinding. It's got a pretty good skill tree already. Evacious. I think we do take Pathfinding. It's kind of an annoying skill to take, but I think we take it. What have we got in the box? 80 Master Gremlins. Okay, well, not exactly what we were hoping for. Another 10 gems once. Okay, let's take Expert uh, Intelligence this time. Again, we should still... Hmm, we have no flies left, so I don't think we outspeed the acids. This could be a bit of a problem. Ah, oh, we do still outspeed them. Let's speed 11, ah, and so am I, so I'm the attacker, so that's fine then. How come these could fly further? I don't 100% understand that. Unless I'm just being a moron, which uh, is very, very possible. Some might say likely.
Okay. So let's hit them all with our ranged units. Okay, we're good luck anyway, so that's fine. Uh, pack of Archangels, that's a pretty brutal fight, but we've got an Imp Cash up here that Marist could also take. So, might be worth just waiting here. You never know, this could also be a, uh, an XP box, which would be pretty nice. And we don't really want to build anything else in our town. We could build our upgraded Hydro Pond, but I don't think it's really worth it. We can always choose to build that on day one of the next week, should we decide to take our uh, Hydras with us. Tazar's getting his way along this road again very nicely. Okay. So I think we can just end there. So Merist wants to take the army. The Evacious wants to move out of the way. Okay, it was XP. That's really helpful. But we got Water Magic instead. And we got Learning instead. Fine. Ugh. Yeah, that's, that's kind of irritating. I mean, Evacious could do lots of Horned Demons without any problems. Hall of War Unicorns we don't particularly want to take. Hey, wait a second. Wait a second. Marist literally has the Centaur's Axe on her. Ugh, I really don't want to take these War Unicorns, but I don't think I can go anywhere without them. Unless I just, yeah. I think I just, uh, the correct play here is just to move back towards the break. I don't know why I'm not doing that in the first place. Winona can move just one square up so that Tazar can move on a bit further. And Tazar does want to come and take out this throng of Dendroid soldiers for XP, if nothing else. But, let's just move Tazar on for now. Keep him in a good spot. We know it's ten gems here. Let's visit it anyway. I think it's worth it. It probably isn't, but I think it is. Winona, let's move a little bit further on. Manfred, we want back up this way a little bit. Dima. Dima perhaps can just go and grab these wyverns for us next turn. Or next week, even. And then Manfred's slightly further up. Tiva wants to be in place to get these lizard men and things, which she's going to be. And Cassie can't get far enough, I don't think, to make her useful for next week. So I think that's fine as we are. This isn't going to be a very smooth chain, but we'll, uh, we'll do it anyway. And yeah, I keep checking my town even though there's nothing else I want to build. Apart from possibly Rossic. But all I get from her really is a couple of extra spells, so I don't think it's worth it. Let's just end the turn. Okay, this is Evacious first, so what he wants to do is this. Maris then wants to go to this Imp Cache, kill everything there. Expert Scholar, that's what we were after. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Excellent, she learns Clone, that's always good news. And we'll give her the Centaur's Axe as well. Um, if nothing else, Merist is a strong, strong enough hero that we're... Ooh. That's kind of unexpected. I actually forgot that you can get units from... Uh, from Sears Huts. Completely forgot that. I think... I'm pretty sure I did know that, but I'd, I'd definitely forgotten it. Um, do we want to take archery? Now, there's a question. The Tazar's got a pretty good... Um, skill tree already. We've got Earth Magic, Water Magic, Wisdom, Scouting, Logger, and Armor, of course, which he starts with. Um, archery is super tempting. But that said, I only really have Lizard Men that that's useful for. 
Hmm. I'm gonna skip archery. But I will take expert scouting. Wrong of sharpies, okay. And Eovatius definitely doesn't want to take a pack of Archangels. That's a terrible fight for us. He can pretty trivially take a pack of Demons, though. Or, in theory, he can trivially take a pack of Demons. Apparently we're going to lose everything, because, of course... Ah, no full-powered shot. I thought it was going to reach there. Uh, 12 is probably fine. Yeah, we can then go and take out the 3. Or we can just fly next to them and, you know, screw it up. That too. Uh, let's magic out of these and then hit them with a 12. Great. So we've got the bowstring there, which is pointless given that we've just uh, decided not to take archery. But uh, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> and Ivacious can't actually move as far as I thought he could. Which is kind of irritating. Let's put our wyverns back into one stack. Let's take a couple of these as one stacks instead. And we'll also give back these artifacts to Tazar. Okay, I think that's fine. And then Tazar can't move far enough to do anything here anyway, so that's been a complete waste of a turn. Well, not complete, but mostly a waste of a turn. <laughs> Merist wants to get home as soon as possible and drop these archers off. That's actually awesome. Of all the things I expected to get from uh, a box, it certainly wasn't something as useful as that. And Winona can move pretty far up here, so... Let's move her, and let's also move Manfred. Manfred can get most of the way back to town at this point, so I think we actually maybe do that. Yeah, because we know Tiva's only going to be able to move to about here, don't we? Maybe slightly further. Let's move Manfred a couple of steps and hope we haven't screwed that up. And Winona wants to move back up this way. Great. I think that'll do us. I think that's that's fine. For our chain, at least. Cassie's in the right spot. So is Tiva. So let's end up there. Alright, we'll go and deal with all this other nonsense first. So, first things first. Demon wants to pick up these units for us. And then also the cows. Uh, he wants to swap with Winona, so that Winona goes and upgrades this fly for us. And we also want Tiva to pick up the garden, and then pick up these lizard warriors. Okay, that's nine lizard warriors picked up. And Tiva can also pick up this uh, knowledge while she's here. And then we want Winona to be dropping off these units. Manfred will finally get his fly upgraded, which is good news. No, no, I guess can just wait there. Let's upgrade all of these. Yeah, I know I mentioned this earlier, but if anybody does know a shortcut to upgrade all of your units at once, I'd, I'd really love to know it. It seems like the kind of thing they would have put in in Hota, or I'm just not aware of it, so... Yeah, if anybody does know, then please do tell me. Uh, I've got Dracon here, with all of his gnolls. Oh, I don't think it's hugely useful, honestly. Um, he's probably good value, though, because you get like 60 gnolls out of him, which is like 3,000 golds worth of units, which is pretty good. And then Manfred can just come back and drop these off with Winona.
Winona can just slip her way past here. Never really thought about it, but 10 cows a week is, uh, including the dwelling I've got, is actually quite a lot. Considering how strong they are, that's, yeah, it's quite a lot. This treasure area is absolutely massive. I'm wondering if it's two treasure areas. Um, I do have one, uh, one subscriber, Mr. Herbert, who might be able to tell me that, though. He seems very, very knowledgeable about the game. And Tazar, I think, just wants to carry on down the road at this point. Uh, I've got speed advantage on these Cavaliers, but this is still going to be horrible, I think. Uh, apparently not. It's not too bad, it seems. I would have thought this would be pretty horrific as a fight, but apparently it's fine. Which, yeah, surprises me a little bit. I guess we do have decent stats at this point though, so maybe that's part of the explanation. Ah, a good luck hit, that's exactly what we wanted. Uh, okay, I can't reach the stack, but I can with my wyverns, so that's fine. Uh, they didn't need the luck there, but they got it anyway. And let's visit a picket. Tell me what you guys think as well. I'm, I'm considering having a playthrough where I also ban uh, Mass Slow. Just curious what uh, what my subscribers think, so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, for sure. And lots of Hydras and then a pack of Black Knights. So the, the break is actually really easy. But the lots of Hydras, not so much. But yeah, please, please do let me know in comments um, if you'd be interested in seeing a a no slow playthrough, as in just add it to all of the other uh, rules in the list already. Because I'm I'm happy to do it if people want to see it. And uh, let's just defend. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, just mass wait. And um, so it's also mass bless. Oh, we can't mass bless yet. No, we haven't got expert, but we can soon. I'm so happy that we got water magic. Uh, let's move up on our cows. Mm, morale. Just defend, defend, defend. Wait, 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 wait. And then we've got a full powered shot on these. Full powered shot on the same stack. And the cows can finish them off. I can nearly finish them off with my uh with my wyverns here. And then I get the last hit anyway. Okay, great. So no losses at all. It's actually good news. Knowledge and power by four, so it's far better than the helm of chaos. Okay, that's a, that's a decent upgrade, I think. And then we can actually take a pack of Black Knights this turn as well, so... Yeah, let's do it, I think. Should be able to just mass slow and then wait up on everything. We know they can't get morale because they're undead, so we're kind of safe no matter what here. And we get a full powered shot on these, which is great. Full powered shot on the back stack, and likewise. Cows can kill these, and then wyverns can kill these. Okay, perfect. Advanced water magic, that's brilliant. We've still got one skill slot left on uh, Tazar as well. Just have to figure out what I want there. Not that we'll probably get what we actually want, but again, worth, worth giving it a go. Um, Throng of Dendroid Soldiers. We do want to go and take out. So, I think perhaps... 
the Evacious moves his way down. Swaps armies with Tazar. And then he can move up back up this way, and then hopefully back a little bit way along this way as well. And I guess Manbred isn't actually needed for anything further for now. That said, I could take... Hmm. Yeah, I could take this army with Manfred and take out these gnolls next turn, but I'm only doing it for some sulfur, really. So I don't know that there's actually much value in that. Let's go and visit these with Manfred instead. And we'll build our upgraded Basilisk pit. At some point we are going to take Basilisks, because they're actually not a bad unit, Greater Basilisks. And the greater upgrade is quite a big upgrade too. They get attack and defense, 5 health, which is quite a lot of extra health. Like 5 extra on 35, uh, which is 1 seventh, so like 16%. It's actually a fair bit of extra health for the stack. And then Maris wants to be moving as far as possible, I suppose. She wants to drop off those lizard men. Okay, Evacious. Let's do this. So I think Mass Bless is going to be our first port of call. Always. And let's see if we can just focus down one stack. Okay, good luck. That helps a lot. Alright, we need to get them to 16. That's good to know. Let's just defend, defend, wait, wait. And let's also blind the top stack here. And then we can wait. We need these at 16, so let's hit those. And we can wait. Full powered shot. Not full powered, but we're still worth hitting. And I can probably just do this with the cows. Yeah, near enough. That's that's good enough. And let's wait, wait, wait. We want to have some fun cloning our lizards. Wait again. We can hit the back stack because that's no longer. Oh, that's not yet a 15. This one is, though. Let's move cows down. Hit the 15. Should be able to just defend, 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 and hit the 8. Alright, brilliant. So if we wait and then we just go and hit this stack. Oh, yeah, with our cloned archers getting good luck. We, we did that very, very, very easily. And Evacious, what does he want? Air magic's not the worst thing in the world. And neither is earth magic, to be fair. What have we got here? Basic wisdom. Okay. So this is going to be a bit strange, because we're going to have a very, very... Ah... I was going to say we're going to have a completely unexplored area with very, very weak stacks in it, but um, it looks like somebody's reached this before us. Because I don't believe this can possibly not have been a neutral area, especially with the amount of resources and like weak stacks that still are sat around here all over the place. Um, so that's that's actually not good. That's really not good. Yeah. So I don't know if there's a hero here or not. I can't remember whether I said I was going to ban visions or not, so I'm not going to use it. Um, I'm pretty sure I said I wasn't going to ban it, but again, I, 
I can't remember, so I don't want to break the rules and then invalidate the entire playthrough at this point. And Merist can have everything except for one fly. And we can decide whether luck and morale is actually something we want as opposed to plus three stats everywhere. We can decide that on a case-by-case -case basis, though. Gee, I'm really not sure what to do with Tazar. I mean, I need to go and get our army, essentially. Before we can just start running around in their territory. Okay, and we are going to want a chain here. If nothing else, so we can chain back and upgrade these lizard men. So Tiva can probably do it from here. What have we got here? Dima. Dima can go down here. And we've got Manfred. He can uh, forget the stats he was going to pick up. That should be fine. And then we've got Winona here. Yeah, that should also be fine. Cassie's just picking this up for us and then coming back down to the south. I'm going to pick up the Mage Tower. Why not? Okay, I think that'll be fine then. This is really frustrating that uh, that Teal have already taken our... I say our... the neutral town that we were planning on taking, I should say. So... Can Tazar move this far? He can. And as far as I can see, there's not really anything in there still. So this should be okay. This should be okay. So let's swap everything over from Merist. We've already got the artifacts on Ivacious. So Merist can just go halfway, grab these units off Winona. We'll do a full swap. Apart from the one gremlin. We'll take that with us. Winona. And then send herself back this way. Which is great. We'll do a full swap there. Then Winona can go and grab these for us. Manfred can go up this way. So can Tiva. Plus one defense, whatever. And then Tivu can come back down, drop these archers back off. Dima can grab the archers again. Then so can Manfred. Okay. And Manfred can get a little bit further this time, in which case I'll actually get him to take the resource buildings after he's dropped the troops off to Winona next time so she doesn't use quite as many movement points. And then Marist wants to drop the rest of these units to Irvacious. Irvacious wants to drop everything to Tazar. Including the armies. I'll take one extra fly. And then Tazar... I mean... It, it's probably not needed to wear the Pendant of Lion's Courage anymore. I've still got two stack morale without it, and I get plus three to all stats, which I think is pretty good. Hmm... Tricky that, because I have got a lot of luck so far. I don't know if I've got enough movement to actually go here and take the town. If I don't, that's going to be super annoying. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I don't. Oh, I do. Thank God. <laughs> okay, I actually do have enough. That's fine. 
that's fine. And our flies are our quickest unit, so we just keep those on us. This is really good news, actually. It looks like they've already built the town hall here, the AI, which... I suppose that like, gives us some benefit. And I suppose it's also a factory town, so I can bring my factory units here. Which is also a very marginal benefit. Let's bring Irvacius and Marist into this next area so we can explore it up next time. Cassie's just going over here. And Tiva is potentially just preparing herself for the next day. So I'm going to end the turn and then I'm going to call it there for the episode. I think that's, that's probably enough done for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and I will see you all next time oh, to fight this fight by the looks of it. <laughs>